You see, if a spinning object breaks apart in a frictionless environment, the fragments will all spin the same direction. It's very simple. It's because the outside is moving faster than the inside. And so it keeps the same direction of spin. The professor said, yes, I understand about the conservation of angular momentum. I said, well, good. I'd like to ask you a question then, sir. If the whole universe began as a swirling dot, like you said, why do two planets spin backwards? He said, that's interesting. I said, no, that's more than interesting. It's kind of hard on your Big Bang Theory. Not only that, six of the moons are spinning backwards. Why? He said, I don't know. Why do you think they're going backwards? Huh. I was hoping he was going to ask that. I said, well, sir, I believe it's very simple. You see, I believe in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and God did it that way on purpose just to make the Big Bang Theory look stupid. <laughs> By the way, if the Big Bang Theory were true, the matter would be evenly distributed. But it's not. It's lumpy. They're called galaxies. And in zillions of miles and nothing called voids. And to, to try to salvage the dumb Big Bang Theory, they've got all these wild theories of why isn't the matter evenly distributed? They'll say, well, maybe there's black holes or maybe there's antimatter. Uh, they got all this stuff. It's all trying to rescue this crazy Big Bang Theory. And it's just, it's a dud, folks. It didn't happen. There are zillions of stars out there. I mean, lots and lots of stars. And we haven't even seen them all. If star births, ought to, they ought to at least equal star deaths, and they don't. We see a star blow up about every 30 years. It's called a nova or a supernova. Well, then how come there are only 300 dead stars out there that we can see, supernovas? Huh. That's only a few thousand years worth, isn't it? There ought to be trillions of them if evolution were true. This fellow said, I have a little hesitation in saying that a sickly pall now hangs over the Big Bang Theory. Yep. I think it is stupid. If you want to believe it, that's fine. I don't care what anybody believes. That doesn't bother me. But see, the problem is they want to use my tax dollars to teach that to your kids in our schools. And that's where the problem comes in. Okay? If you want to believe in the Big Bang, just enjoy yourself. But keep your religion at home. Okay? Because it is a religion.
they tell the kids the earth formed from a hot molten mass 4.6 billion years ago. This is part of the theory, and it's in all the textbooks. 4.6 billion years ago, earth cooled down, formed a rocky crust. I think that is stupid, and I'll show you why. Was the earth ever really a hot molten mass 4.6 billion years ago, and it cooled down? This textbook says, as earth formed, the surface was like the moon. There were hot pools of bubbling lava. I don't think so. My Bible says, the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So the earth was not created a hot molten mass. It was created under water. Which means it has to be less than 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees centigrade. Or it wouldn't be water. It would be steam. So the earth was never a hot molten mass, according to Scripture. Then when you look in the granite rocks, you find little tiny halos made of polonium. Now these polonium halos are absolutely amazing. Robert Gentry, a friend of mine from uh, Knoxville, Tennessee area, he has been studying radio polonium halos for a long time. I met him back in uh, the year 2000 and went down to his laboratory and I got to see some of the halos through the microscope. These little polonium halos are interesting because they have a half-life of less than a few minutes. If the rock was hot when the polonium, radioactive polonium decayed and sent out the little particles and made the halo, it would melt away. Like in 4th of July, they shoot fireworks up, makes a circle. Does the circle stay there? Uh, no, it all falls down, right? There are probably none up there now from the last 4th of July, are there? 